heard, I heard gunshots and I thought, wow, it's too early in the day for somebody to be shooting. But it obviously wasn't too early. An eight-year-old enjoying the evening in an apartment complex playground in North Winston-Salem ends up getting shot in the back. This happened almost exactly 24 hours ago. One of the bullets being exchanged between a group nearby hit her. Fox State's Madison Forsey was at the Astor Park Apartments in Winston-Salem when she returned home. And Madison, you spoke with her grandmother. Yeah, her grandmother is hurt and angry. She says that her granddaughter does not want to go and play outside, something that any young kid should love to do and should have the opportunity to do safely. Grandma did tell me the people that police say did the shooting saw those kids playing outside on the playground and fired their weapons anyway. That right there, it just, I went to another stage in life, and it's painful for it painful for uh, a grandmother, or your, your family, or mama, hear something like that. Sadness and anger are the only emotions Sandra Allen felt when she learned a bullet struck her eight year old granddaughter. She played, she did one of them little wild babies, like to go. And um, she's a um, very sweet baby. Her sweet baby was with her little brother on the playground at the Astor Park Apartments in Winston Salem around five Tuesday night when police say four young men pulled out guns and started shooting at each other. They don't feel safe now. A neighbor screamed at the kids on the playground to get down. He tried to get the group to stop shooting as he grabbed the eight year old and ran back toward her house. My granddaughter was saying like it was burning and so that's when he he said he knew he looked back and he seen the blood on him. They realized she was shot in the back. Now, since this happened, you know, in their mind now, she say, I don't want to go to the park. I don't want to go outside. Grandma, I don't want to live here. Tuesday, investigators walked the property, surveying bullet holes and asking people in the community what they saw. Sandra and other neighbors want to see the complex step up with additional security and more lights. I just wish they had more protection around here for the children. I don't, I, I don't feel like the children should have, feel like they can't go outside. I tried to contact the property manager for the complex about those changes, and I was not able to get in touch with her. The Winston-Salem Police Department says that group of four men were between the ages of 15 and 20. They drove away in a gray Ford Escape and a black Honda with damage to the passenger side door. In Winston-Salem, Madison Forsey, Fox 8 News.